practice. Talk about the receivers so far this spring. You got, just as I like to say, a cornucopia of talent. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that. They better catch the football. That's all I care about. But uh, you know what? We got a lot of guys out there that uh, are are competing, and it's great to have those young guys like Abdur, um, Yassin, as well as Malik Carr out there uh, competing in this spring football. You know, seeing those guys lined up next to Milton Wright and Mershon Rice and and uh, T.J. Sheffield. Man, it's been it's been. A blessing, you know, especially with some of the other guys not being able to practice right now. So it's been a blessing to be able to get them all these reps that they and they don't even recognize and know that right now. But eventually they will, and uh, we'll be thankful for having, you know, graduated early and being here on time. But um, I tell you what, uh, we got some some pieces at the receiver position, and I just got to do a good job of making sure that we put the pieces in the right place. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Um, eventually. You know, you hopefully figure it out. What are you seeing from Rondell Moore? Are you seeing the guy that was as his freshman year and making the cuts and all that, or is, you, is it is it a step up? Yeah, I mean, he he's he's been learning some different techniques for you know getting thinner and decreasing the surface area uh, so that he can turn his shoulders faster out of breaks and things of that nature to make himself more efficient as a route runner. So, um, but you know what I appreciate from him is he is consistently and when we talked uh, you know after his freshman year about being a leader, you know he he has definitely become that within my room. You know and. and and, and a lot of it is just on how he's able to accomplish what he is doing on the field. You know, we don't talk about accolades or any of that stuff, but he talks a lot about, hey, this is what I'm thinking. This is how I move. Uh, this is why I'm making this movement um, to affect the defender in this particular way. And um, you know what? It's, it's great to have a young man like that who's willing to give those types of clues, you know, to to the guys, you know, initially he wasn't able to really kind of comprehend how to say it to the guys because he just was doing it, you know. And then as he kind of listened to me more, and I'm sitting down with him, and he understands how we want to coach it, he he's, he's able to help these guys out a ton. Is David out all spring with the shoulder? Yes, he will be out all spring. Yeah. Talk about Milton. How, how's Milton gotten better? Uh, you know what? It's been good to kind of be flipping him around a little bit. We're kind of putting him all over the field. To, to see where we can make him better. You know, he was a little bit disappointed in, in his performance as a true freshman uh, this past year. And, uh, you know, I, I, he expected more out of himself this past year. And so th the great part, part about that young man is he comes to work every single day. Like, that's one thing you never have to worry about with Milton Wright. He comes, I mean, he's yet to miss a practice since he arrived here. Okay, I wish I had some wood to knock on. All right, but that young man comes to work every single day, every single route he runs. When he goes and blocks, he's the first one off the ball. Um, I, I, I just can't tell you. Now, the one thing we're really focusing a lot on is his catching technique. Okay, so we got to be, be doing a really good job of making sure he's able to catch the ball in all the different positions. You know, Wisconsin game over the shoulder catch. You know. Um, guy trying to punch the ball out about against Indiana and uh, the in cut, you know, those, those types of things. We're trying to work on those things to make sure that we don't see those on film again. He threw a touchdown pass. Well, he, did. Right. he did. He did. You know, everybody think, well, it's great because now he can look at Rondell and say, I saw what you did in the bowl game, okay? You saw what I did against Wisconsin. So it is a competitive group in which I, I enjoy the competition. So um, I like it like that. Why was uh, uh, Yassine? such a big get for you guys and why why did you guys stick with that until the very end well let me just be quite frank about it we didn't really stick with it till the end you know you know at a point we were kind of pretty much done recruiting the receiver position and then all of a sudden we started hearing rumbles that that was going to occur and the fortunate part about it is I had maintained a relationship with his father just because he's a good guy. Like, he's a good person to talk to, has some good sense, and I mean, he, he's very knowledgeable about football more than most parents that you really run into. So it was good to, I mean, it was always awesome just to talk to him just because I recruit Detroit. Right. So I'd see him at other places. He'd be there, you know, and I'm like, okay, there he is. Or he'd call me on the phone and I'd talk to him. So, um, but 
his growth between his junior and senior year, and you see that tape, it's not even close. When he came here to visit us and I told him what he needed to do, he did that and more, okay? You watch the film, okay, and you be the judge. I mean, the kid was, what, Michigan, down there Michigan player of the year. I mean, and that's hard to do up there where, especially where he plays at, you know, it's hard to do. It's hard to get that because you're not always going to get the votes and whatnot um, where you're located. So, you know, that, that's, that's a, that's a, but it's what you see on film, the change of direction. It's funny when Rondell comes on to me and he's like, well, he's got that, mm -mm. and I, and I know what he means. It's that, it's that change of direction. Okay. That movement skill that all of a sudden it comes out and you're like, okay, that looks like stuff that I've seen from Rondell before. So, you know, I think that, you know, in the long run, the kid's going to have the opportunity to be successful. He just, you know, he's got a lot of playbook, you know, and it's, 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 it's daunting right now. You know, it's a task right now and he's realizing how important that is. So he, he's pushing through it. You know, when you sit in the room and get on the board, that's a whole different story than when you come out here and you got the DB lined up against you. Uh, you know, obviously TJ had an injury last year and your shot was kind of slowed by injuries all year. First of all, are they healthy? And just how important is the spring for them to get to get involved in the depth chart and get a chance to get to, to, to TJ's doing great. TJ's doing great. Uh, he, had both great of, he had a great training camp. That's great training camp. Actually, you know, we we're going into the Penn State game. He was probably going to be the starter going into the Penn State game, and that's when he really got hurt. And um, mm. you know what? Um, he's doing a great job this spring. Very proud of him. He's, he's, uh, you know, and I wasn't sure if he was even 100% at the time when we we're going to start spring ball. And again, he's he's stacking up days right now, back to back to back, where he's having good days. And uh, so, very proud of him. He he's very diligent in his rehab, even today. And I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I said he. He was going to be late for a study hall, and he communicated it to me way before it was going to happen because he said he had to get a get something done. So you know, he's 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 just conscientious in, in all areas. So he's having a great. He's he's going to be a good player here. Mershon, Mershon, healthy right now, um, battling right now in terms of just really going out there and executing everything just because he didn't have the time on the field last year because of the injuries and whatnot. But now he's healthy. Um, he's making some plays out there. He's just, he's got to be more consistent in catching the football. Hey, real, real quick, Malik Carr, has he been what you thought? Uh, absolutely. He's a, he's a big fella. But again, he even came to me and said, Coach, I'm not even playing football right now because I'm just trying to learn the playbook. So, you know, it takes a little bit of time, you know, and every once in a while you see, okay, he looks more comfortable now and looks better. So it just depends on the day. What kind of freak of athlete is he? I mean, when you see a guy of his size also be able to go through the legs and come through, you guys saw the dunk contest. And all right, he's able to do that actually, you know, at six foot five, 230 pounds, okay? Yeah. All right, he can do that right now and then come out here and run routes and catch passes and do all that stuff. So, tremendous athlete, tremendous athlete.